of the lungs, what we're looking for is uh, the armpit line, about a hand width down, um, or right there, it's right down at the side. Um, so if you can feel on yourself, if you were to put a hand there, your, your base is gonna be right here. Um, try to feel for in between the ribs if you can. Uh, we wanna find that like intercostal space so we're not listening directly on top of the rib. Might be hard to find on uh, some patients if they have extra padding there, so you might have to kind of move your stethoscope around just a little bit. Uh, but that's what we're aiming for, but hand width down, right down at the side. Same thing on the opposite side. Boom, base. So we've got here, 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 and then the bases. Uh, on the Sorry, back, yeah. The one, the second one, so yeah. It's about, so oh, when, yeah. you, when, you're, when you're going from the top, you're about two inches down and in, if that makes sense. So it's here, 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 here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Can you show um, that on that dummy again? Yeah, so you've got here, here, and then the bases are both. Um, now the back, um, we're basically mirroring, 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 yeah, uh, the same auscultation points but on the back, and what we're looking for is making sure we're not going on to the, the, uh, to the scapula, the shoulder bone there. Um, does, is anybody here wearing a t-shirt? They steal someone? How on, man. <laughs> Cool. I'm using my face away first. Um, so what we're looking for, um, so when you feel someone's back, you can feel like the bony structure. We don't want to go on top. We're not going to off the elbow. So we're looking for that shoulder where that bone ends, where it's kind of like the knee muscle part starts, and that's going to be our apexes. So right there and there. And then we're basically tracing around that bone. So same thing, we're going to come about two inches down. So listen to the middle of the lung, and then bases remain the same. So still that one hand but down from the armpit line. Um, so bases are the same on whether we're doing the front or the back, but we're, what we're doing is basically outlining the, the shoulder bone. So the inside of the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to go directly on top of that bony structure. Uh, again doing it on the skin, so you have to go like up underneath the shirt or down through the top. It's the, so the same on the sides? Same on the sides. Are you doing it twice? No, no, so you only have to do either the front or the back. Okay. You don't have to do both. But thank you. <laughs> um, so, when we're auscultating, um, we're listening to what those lung sounds sound like, and what ideally we want to hear is air going in and out clearly. Um, so we should be hearing clear breath sounds going in and out. That's good. Um, but there's some things that we might hear that are cat. Um, so one of them is crackles. Um, crackles that you're hearing. Crackles. It is a sign of fluid in the lungs, so that pulmonary edema, which is what we would be um, hearing for someone who has congestive heart failure, for example, or pneumonia. We would hear crackles. Um, so fluid in the lungs. Um, crackles can be really hard to hear, especially. Um, you might hear them very finely, so referred to as like fine crackles. Um, I always get a little tripped up onto it because it sounds very similar to like when you're moving the bell of the stethoscope around, you're going, well, is that crackles or not? Or if you hear like your, if you put your finger on it, um, I always find it really hard to detect. But fine crackles, and then there's coarse crackles, meaning more fluid, like lots of fluid in the lungs. Um, but very similar to. Um, but crackles is fluid in the lungs. Um, 
so for example, if you go to a shortness of breath call and Say we've got a patient during your RBS, we've exposed the chest, we don't see anything, but we've got that swelling in the lower extremities, and then when we go to auscultate, we hear crackles. That is a sign that that person has congestive heart with that swelling and whatnot. So uh, it's, it's nice to be able to auscultate because it just gives you so much more information about your patient and what might potentially be going on. Um, so this is uh, important, important to know what practice is. Um, you might also hear uh, wheezing. Um, that indicates to us that we hear wheezing, that is um, bronchospasm. Um, so, for example, someone who's asthmatic and having an asthma attack, they would hear wheezing really auspicate. Um, I find wheezing easy, easier to hear than crackles because um, it's quite obvious, especially um, on more defined when they're um, breathing out. Um, but that's what that means. If you hear wheezes, they're efficient to use a spray. 